Commissioner of the City of East Hampton was given $175 to make improvements to the Millside Park and surrounding area. Over the past year, the City has worked with residents and business owners to develop a plan that addresses the issues with the pre-existing design, as well as providing services to the community. The plan for the redesign has undergone many changes, but the final plan for the redesign was recently released to the public. This project's been in the works for a little bit over a year, and now we're looking at potentially being shovel ready and being able to get the, these projects worked on in the next couple of years. So right now the problems are, it's, it's a little bit car centric. So even though it's adjacent to the bike path, there's the infrastructure of the back of the mills is not perfect for being able to access the different businesses. So, you know, there's breweries there, there's restaurants there, there's gaming places there, there's a dispensary there. And so ideally we'd like to see people be able to move between all of those things by foot. And not have to, like, if you're going to go have, you know, dinner at Daily Operation and you want to go to New City after, we want you to be able to walk and not have to drive. Right now, it's, that's not ideal. So there's quite a few people involved. So we have the city planning department does a lot of outreach. So they do, like, community visioning programs where they get people from the community to come and say what they think. They have consultants that they work with that are professional planners. Um, and then we have community groups that are interested, like we, there's a skate park uh, group in East Hampton that is involved with you know, the skate park planning. The director of Parks and Rec and the rec board, they've had no problems going after CPA funds for you know, softball diamonds and baseball diamonds and soccer fields and you know, more traditional stuff. They seem to be very resistant against getting a skate park in Millside Park, which is where it was supposed to be. And the rec department has been fighting it, fighting it. And there's people on the rec department now that are really highly against it being there. And they want to relegate it off to the woods somewhere, which would be difficult because you wouldn't have the bike paths accessibility, which I think is important. And I think skate parks are really important for communities, not just for skateboarders, not for BMX bikers, not for inline skaters, but for everybody, because it encourages people to go outside, be active, get fresh air, and recreate, which is important for a healthy community. As the project continues to move forward, keep yourself updated by going to easthamptonma.gov. Thank you for watching Culture Shock.